Hi everybody, this is Scott Sharp and today we're going to look at happy birthday in three different keys and I'll show you why those chords fit with the, or why those melody notes fit with the chords and hopefully it'll help you figure out ways to figure out tons of other cool songs and how to add picking uh, to those songs as well. So let's get started and I'll show you how it works. Today we're going to use a fretboard toolbox essential guitar book and we're going to start with the key of C and happy birthday is a tricky song so uh, like it doesn't seem like it but listen to a bunch of people sing it together lots of people don't know the melody and that's a big reason we struggle with singing so we're going to make sure we get the melody right and we'll start with uh, knowing that we need three chords we need the one chord which is C major we need the five chord which is G major and then real quick we'll need a four chord which is F major and these are the notes and white boxes here that make up the major key we're going to start on a five so the happy birthday always goes five 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 six five and then it keeps going from there so let's uh let's get started here and we'll play um with the melody first so so that's g g a g C, B, and when it goes to that B note, we're playing a B, or we're playing a G major chord. Okay, so when the melody went to B, we went to a G chord, and then it goes. So that was G, G, A, G, C, B, G, G, A, B, D, C, and when we went to that C note, we went to the C major chord. And then this is the part that it's really hard to sing because it's G, 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 so octave, G, 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 G. So that's G, 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 E, C. Notice that follows the chord there, G, E, C, then it goes B, A. G, E, C, B, A, and when it goes to that A note, notice the A is not part of the C or the G major chord, but A is part of the F. And then it goes da da, F, F, for real quick, F, 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 E, C, D, C. And when it goes to the D there, it goes real quick to that G major chord. So that was F, F, E, C, D. And notice I'm playing the G major that has a D note in it there. If I don't play it with that D, this is what it sounds like. I don't get that. So it's cool to add that note in there. Um, if you want to play it with just the melody, And then I'm going to play it one time with just the chords if you want to try to play along with either the, the picking it with the melody or just playing the melody or strumming the chords. So it goes like this. All right, that's C major. Uh, happy birthday. So now we'll go to... Um, let's try G major next and so it's gonna here's again the G major chord notes or the G major scale notes are all in white here and we're gonna start five 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 six five but in the key of G we'll have the G major is my one chord D major is my five and C major is my four so this one's gonna be D D D E D then it'll go to G so let's try that so this one's going to go, here's one, two, three, four, five, G, A, B, C, D. So it goes. So it goes D, D, E, D, G, F sharp. And when it goes to the F sharp, 
I'm gonna play this kind of F uh, D major shape because I want this, I want that F sharp note in there. So that one's kind of hard. But if you want to pick melodies, you definitely want to be able to play a D major that has this F sharp in there. And don't let the E ring out like I just did. So to that E, like that E is not part of either one of these chords, but E is part of the C here. So D, 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 G, B, G, D, 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 B, G, F sharp, E, C, C, B, A, G, A, G. It is really hard to say the notes while you play. And I don't think about all the notes while I play. I'm just trying to say them to help you find it, which doesn't help when I say the wrong ones. But, oh well, uh, <laughs> doing my best. So let's try it again. to that A note on the melody, I'm playing a D major chord. And that's like the beautiful part, is being able to see these melody notes are often part of the chord that you're playing. And um, that's that was kind of the big like aha moment for me. So when you start, when you know like what those notes are, um, try doing different things like playing it on one string. That's really huge. Um, if we did that on here, it would go. And I can't show it on the picture up here because uh, we'll run out of space. So I'm just going to show you down here. But you try to find it and or look at the fretboard layout down here and see if you can find it. So it's. This is why it's so hard to sing it. Da, da, da. That's an octave. G, uh, D, D, D. So that's brutal, but finding the melody on one string, uh, I was told to do that by Dan Miller from Flat Pick Guitar Magazine, who was taught to do it by somebody else, and it is just a really helpful thing. It's like, oh, okay, now I see where this melody is lying on the fretboard. And then also try to find it in different places, like play the melody up here. Like um, if I went to this D here. So that's D, D, E, D, G, F sharp. D, D, E, D, that's A, G, D, 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 B, G, F sharp, E, C, C, B, G, A, G, and then you could mess around with that, adding little silly things at the end too. But just finding those things all up and down the fretboard is really huge, and you can figure out how to add the whole chord in there um, if you just pause this and leave it on. Um, like I've spent hours messing around with things like that, and, uh, and it makes a big, big difference. Let's look at it in the key of D just so you get the idea. Um, so we got the one, five, and four chords, the D major scale notes and white boxes. And this is going to be five, 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 six, five. You know, oh, okay, it's always the same thing. It's always five, 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 six, five. So for the key of D, um, I could start here on this five. So the five of D is is A. One, two, three, four, five. So A, A, B, A, D, C sharp, A, A, B, A, E, D, A, 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 F 
sharp D, C sharp B. And when it goes to that B, we're going to the four chord again. And look how that B's part of the chord. And then it goes da da with the G. F sharp E, G, G, F sharp D, A major with the C sharp note, right there. And um, just working on all those different keys and finding different places, like if it's five, five, six, five, I can start, um, try one up here. And before I play it, see if you can figure it out. Like A, A, B, A, D, C sharp. When it goes to that C sharp, that's going to be part of this chord. So you got to see, like, can I play this C sharp as part of the A chord? It's cool if you can learn to do it. I still work on it too. So let's see if I can do it. And you can pause if you want and see if you can figure it out on your own. go slower something like that and try it again up the neck like that uh, and see if you can figure that out because once you kind of start getting the idea of these melody notes or hitting notes from the chords um, then you can start messing around with the same ideas for all sorts of different songs and it just allows you to add a lot of neat things um, to your picking and uh, kind of makes it more fun so uh, if you want to learn more about fretboard toolboxes you can go to the fretboard toolbox website pick your instrument where i got books set up just alike for all these different instruments today we're looking at guitar um, be sure to check out my essential versus complete books that's the most common question i get asked print versus ebook options and if you click look inside on any of my books you can get um, all of the instructions in the key of g major pages for free and you can uh, then you can see if you find it useful or uh, or not so and if you click here you can see all my guitar videos and tools and there's all sorts of cool free stuff to mess around with here and download and try out so anyways hope you found something useful and I'll be back on more fretboard Fridays with more videos on more of my favorite instruments